how? What did I learn from him? Yeah. Um, or what did you learn about him? Yes, that, that would be a better question. Um, <laughs> uh, um, he's, he's always an optimistic guy, no matter what the situation is, no matter what the circumstance is. Um, I learned that he's a, he's a, he's a good guy, um, and he's a great coach. Tomorrow you've talked about wanting to stay here, but do you feel uncertain here now, or what's your emotion as it relates to your contract being at? Uh, well, this is my first time in a situation to where my contract is up, and now I guess be a free agent. I don't even know how everything works in this situation, um, so I'm gonna just you know take the time to learn more about the the actual situation. Maybe talk to people who have been in this situation, talk to my agent a little bit more about it. Having Jason here not with that your decision at all moving forward. I don't know. I don't know. How would you assess your season? Uh, you had a you think, career high in yards and some touchdowns. And how, how do you think you played this season? And right. Um, the way I would assess it is I, I don't. I wouldn't say I um, hit my potential this season, even though it's career high in yards and, and touchdowns. I thought I could have, you know, accomplished a lot more, um, but I didn't. So um, it's just a good reason to be able to go back to the drawing board and. Uh, Work my butt off this off season so that I can. Well, in a way, it's a, it's a, it can be a good thing, you know, because now, now I know that, um, you know, coming into next year, it's something that I can actually top because I know for a fact, you know, um, down the stretch this season, I didn't um, perform at a level um, in which I know I could perform. So, you know, it's a, it's a reason for me to really work hard this off season and, and try to have a complete season next year to, to actually get those numbers and, and reach my potential. How healthy were you toward the end of the season? You know, just um, I would say the last eight games I was healthier um, than the first eight. But you weren't 100%. Um, I would say, you know, these last couple of games I've felt good, you know. Um, well, you have to do any, you don't need any surgeries, no cleanups or anything in the off season. You're, it will be just resting, nah, rehab, no. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I need any surgery or anything like that. No. What do you think you need to improve on to have that season you were talking about? The, uh, weeks one to 16. Just need to um, be more consistent. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe focus a little bit more. You know, sometimes when you are having success, um, you tend to lose focus on the, on the little things that you need to do to um, to keep playing well. Uh, for example, um, you know, if you catch a lot of balls early on, um, it starts to feel like that's just what you do. That's just who you are. Instead of realizing that um, the reason you're able to catch all those balls and stuff like that is because you're um, you're focusing on the fundamentals. You're looking the ball all the way through every time and stuff like that. And then when it becomes routine, you, you stop doing those things. How good can you and Gallup be together? I think we could be real good together. Um, as you can see, you know, he dominated that game last night. And I think we both have the ability to go out there and, and take over whenever we want to. Really, um, you know, we uh, we focus and we you know we work hard and we do the right things. And um, it's always interesting when it can be either guy to go out there and dominate the, uh, dominate the game. And it's always interesting when it can be both guys dominating the same game. So uh, you know that's something I'm really looking forward to. In this season with that, I mean, that's, when you got here, you put up a pretty quick chemistry with him. What's your thoughts on your season with him? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think we did some good things. Um, you know, obviously we could have done a, uh, could have done a better together, um, but it's not really nothing to complain about. Uh, I think it's just something to build, build towards. Because um, I think uh, he and I are, are a very important part of this team and very important pieces in terms of uh, wins and losses. You know, uh, I think we can really take over games together. And if we do that consistently, then um, it'll be really hard to stop us, and it'll be really hard for us to um, lose. How hard, how, hard, how hard will it be to watch the playoffs? And knowing that you guys have a lot of talent on this team. Yeah, it's always hard to watch the playoffs for me, um, especially the Super Bowl. I never really watched the Super Bowl. Um, it's just always always tough. Because you start to watch the – well, me, I can't speak for anybody else, but I, I, start, I always watch the game and, you know, just, just think about um, – me being there, you know. When does your off season start? How much time do you take away from this and get back to it? 
Uh, I mean, I have a gym like in my house, so I'm always just like, you know, get bored and run on the treadmill, stuff like that. Um, I just like working out in general, so uh, it's it's never really a time frame. Like I, n- I never say, oh, I'm going to take away from it to, two weeks off or a month off without training or anything like that. That's just, I like training. That's just part of my routine as a person. Yeah. Jerry said yesterday he feels like even though the organization needs change, guys like you and Dak are part of a core that he believes going forward for the future. Do you agree that y'all have that core? And what does it mean to have the owner single you out as one of three people who he thinks is part of that core? I think it's good. Um, like I said, I, I want to be here. I love it here. And I love everything um, about this area, this team. Um, place, Like I said before, the place I live. It's just um, I don't have I don't feel like I have anything to complain about um, in this situation. So uh, yeah. Where you feel like that focus went? Because you probably had seasons in the past where you had that success. Uh, I don't know. Um, like I said, it's just it just seems like it's the natural thing to do. Um, like the example I gave, you know, earlier. Um, like I said, when you consistently catching the football um, without a problem because that's what you do, that's what you've been doing all, all your life. <clears throat> and then you, you feel like it just it's just something that's routine. It's just something that's innate when really it's just um, the fact that you've just been looking the ball all the way through your entire life. And then you, know, you might get away from that and then you start to drop it, you know? Um, and so you can never really get away from the fundamentals of anything that you're doing. And uh, that's just something that um, I think I can be better at, you know, like, so for example, if I, the next season, for example, if I um, <clears throat> start off great, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like it would be real helpful if I remind myself like, hey, just uh, stay focused, you know, stick to the fundamentals. Um, and um, I think, like I said, I think that's something that I can get better at. Mario, why was this? Team so inconsistent. <laughs> why, why was this team, this 2019 Cowboys, why, why were they so inconsistent? Uh, I don't know, man. It's, I, I think I would say it's a lot of things you can use as an excuse to why we were so inconsistent. I mean, you can say um, you can say you can say we weren't really inconsistent. You can say um, you know when we played the better teams. They beat us, and when we played the uh, teams that, you know, weren't so great, we beat them. So I don't really know how to answer that question because I don't know if it's a true statement or or not. When you think about what you want to do to improve over the off season, and particularly on that drop, do you and Dak have plans to work together in the off season? Of course, you know that's that's always the plan to work um, with the guy throwing you the ball, you know, um, and to build on what you already have. Tomorrow was Jerry in on his team meeting. Yes. Uh, you know, he was just talking to us uh, <clears throat> about where we should be headed and um, how important this team is to him. You know, he always talks to us about how he can be uh, anywhere in the world, you know, but he would rather be here with us um, and building this team, building this, uh, this organization up.